Previous to being appointed by President Aquino in 2010, he held numerous positions in government, including Secretary of Trade. He also served as chairman and managing partner of the country's largest professional services firm, SGV & Co, now Ernst & Young Global, having been recognized as Finance Minister of the Year six times in Asia, he is attributed with having driv um, driven forward many of the Philippines' toughest, yet most needed reforms under the view that good governance is good economics. I would like you to please welcome Philippines Secretary of Finance, Cesar Purisima. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, uh, this morning. Uh, in summary, we've had uh, uh, fastest uh, six-year growth uh, we've had in 40 years, averaging over 6%. Uh, uh, percent. In fact, um, some institutions have predicted that the Philippines will be among the world's largest uh, economies uh, by uh, 2015. Some have said that uh, we'll be among the 11 uh, global growth uh, uh, drivers. Governance is uh, what brought us success this past six years. It has allowed us to get into the virtuous cycle of confidence. It has allowed us to create fiscal space, made embolden our businessmen to be more aggressive in their investments, encourage our people to be more optimistic about the future, encouraging them to buy durables, no? allowing us to get deeper into a consumption virtuous cycle. The next area that we need to continue to focus on is global connectivity and mindset. There are four areas in this uh, regard that I think we need to focus. First, the very obvious one of infrastructure connectivity. Second, uh, policy connectivity. Third, digital connectivity. And fourth, process connectivity. For 2016, the Aquino administration has been able to increase the budgetary allotment to infrastructure to 5% of GDP. This is more than double what the average was before the Aquino administration. But even at 5%, it won't be enough. And that is why we need to continue to nurture our PPP uh, program. Over 90% of um, our businesses are considered micro, small, and medium enterprises. We have to integrate them into our economy. You have to give them opportunities at, um, to access the market. We have to give them uh, easier access uh, to uh, finance. We have to find a way to uh, um, activate the creative uh, and digital econ economy in this uh, uh, sector. This is going to be crucial if we are to attain inclusiveness. We need to develop Mindanao. We need to make sure that the uh, Bangsamoro bill is uh, uh, passed. This is uh, an area that is uh, less uh, often visited by typhoon, that is more fertile, that is closer uh, to ASEAN, that's been underperforming and offers uh, low-hanging opportunity uh, for the country. The trade between China and the Philippines from 2013 to 2014 grew by over 20%. So that's a good sign that despite the issues between us, we're able to continue to focus on things that are mutually beneficial. Another geographic uh, opportunity would be harnessing our free trade agreement with Japan. Japan is the only country that we have a bilateral free trade agreement. And yet, we have not really fully harnessed the potential of Japan. In, in a world where there are so many uncertainties and challenges, especially in terms of where the demand will come from, we have to be creative in terms of looking for those uh, opportunities amidst the troubled waters we are currently uh, faced with. In the past six years, uh, we've done a good job of actually better managing our fiscal health. Uh, we've kept our uh, fiscal deficit uh, within our uh, ceiling of uh, uh, 2%, allowing us to drop our debt to GDP at uh, to historic lows. 
in fact, uh, uh, for the first time uh, in a long, long time, uh, debt to GDP is at 45%, below 50%. In fact, if you remove uh, the ownership of government of its own debt, our general debt to GDP is around 35%. Uh, I think, as a country, we need to continue to know what's ahead of us, but at the same time, we need to understand what got us to where we are right now and make sure that in the next six years and administrations beyond that, we need to continue to focus on these six essential areas or the six Gs that I mentioned so that we can actually realize the potential that the Philippines has. Thank you and good morning.